This is the third mini lecture looking at intuition and education and we are going to focus on Jerome Bruner in this short one. First of all, intuition is that aha, a long time problem, suddenly you see a solution, it comes into uh, clarity. This is Jerome Bruner's definition. Intuition is not something just used in the arts. Intuition has led to our greatest discoveries in math and scientists. It is highly regarded at the top levels. So part of math and science, if we really want to innovate, should be the cultivation of intuitive thinking. Teachers as well. Teachers can improve and use intuitive thinking along with students. There are two types of thinking, both analytic and intuitive. They're opposites, but they complement each other. Analytic thinking uh, proceeds in a step-by-step -step fashion, one step at a time. The steps are explicit. There's full awareness of the information and cognitive operations. Intuitive thinking is a thought ball. Thoughts pop up all over the place. It does not necessarily advance in careful uh, steps. It's like things popping up all over the universe. Knowledge of the structure of the domain allows one to intuitive. As I said previously, it's hard to intuit about things of which you know little. You have to have some knowledge of the subject area. And analytic and intuitive thinking are complementary. They should be used together when thinking about, when making innovations, when coming to decide or coming to know the world. Traditionally, schools have devalued intuition. We don't teach it. We do not value it, and that is to our own peril. If we are going to make the advancements into the next century, if we are going to make innovations that are going to change uh, um, our society, we need to embrace intuition, creativity, and emotion, along with knowledge and logic. Intuition is different but not ineffective. Oh, that's just... Into no, no, it complements. Intuition is an immediate or appre uh, <clears throat> immediate apprehension uh, or cognition, all right? Immediate apprehension. That's a bad word. Apprehend. Uh, well, I guess you apprehend a concept. So, intuition should be included as a form of problem solving, both in your personal life and professional life. The more complex the problem, however, the less likely we are to trust logic and knowledge over intuition. So, intuition, again, the ability to make the leap from the known or predictable to something totally different. The second level, the ability to rely on known information or to see facts in a totally new way. And the third level, this is more the smoky or the spooky level, the ability to use different kinds of senses to gain access to information. Wholeness. Use these to know the world, to understand, to problem solve. We need more emotional decisions, more intuitive decisions, not fewer. And this is the end.